Welcome back, my fellow poets, to another Spooky Saturday video. To those of you who stumble across my content for the first time, I am your narrator, Paranormal Poet, and I narrate true paranormal scary stories who focuses more on atmosphere rather than visual aid to terrify you. So sit back, relax, and step into the world of the unknown. Picture this. It's a cold night in the middle of a rural road in your country. Doesn't matter where, just the setting is important. You walk to the end of the road and hear rustling in the bushes. You feel your heart beating harder as the noises get louder. Then, a deer pokes its head out of the tree line. Relieved, you breathe a sigh of, oh, thank God. <sighs> but that is only short-lived, as down the road where you just were, a woman in a hospital gown can be seen with her hair covering most of her face. She's walking in a manner so unnerving, it gives you chills. You run inside, frightened, and shut the door behind you. Tonight, I will share with you two true unnerving stories that made the victims of these encounters traumatized. Let's see if you can handle it. Story 1. Hello, paranormal poet. My name is Maddie, and I have an experience to share with your audience. See, I wasn't much of a believer, though I never doubted it existed. I just needed to see something firsthand. I guess you can say, I got what I asked for. This experience happened on May 10th of this year. The day was like any other. The sun glistened bright in the sky through patchy clouds. It was warm and inviting. I remember later in the evening, a friend had stopped by and we hung out for the day. Smoked some weed to wind down for a little bit. All was going well. At some point, my energy was beginning to gradually surge through me and wake me up, and I knew I had to go on a walk to release the excess of energy. So I turned to my friend and asked if she would happily go on a walk with me. She gladly agrees, and we make our way to the car. We made our way to the car because I was going to start the walk at my school. We get there, and she drops me off and peels away to go get gas for the car. It was around 10 p.m. or 11, but it got dark relatively quickly. At this point, I had walked one full lap around the block. Being there alone was fine up until it got dark. I called my friend and asked where she was, and upon driving back, she by accident turned down the wrong road completely, but reassured me she'd be back at the school parking lot really soon. I began to walk at a brisk pace uphill to the parking lot when I got a strange feeling in my chest. It began tightening and dealing with anxiety. In the past, I knew this was a severe attack and it was about to start. But what made it worse was turning around to see in the distance an old woman, wearing a hospital gown, slowly walking towards me. The nearest hospital was miles away, so this didn't make sense at all. She was barefoot and unnervingly turned to look at me. I gasped and ran up the remainder of the road where I saw my friend pull up just in time. I yanked that door open and told her to nope it out of there. Before peeling away, I double took and saw she was gone. She didn't disappear into the bushes. This was a hilly suburban neighborhood with sparse vegetation. To this day, I don't know why she was there or where she vanished. But one thing is for sure, I'm not going back to that place at night. Story two. Hello, paranormal poet. My name is Dorian. And this experience I had a few years back has terrified me and forced me to acknowledge the true definition of unholy. It all started when I was relaxing in my apartment. I am a believer in the paranormal, 
but I never really understood what they wanted from me, or why people thought they were so scary. I would find that out later on in the night. I was watching YouTube, mindly scrolling through social media, just doing anything to pass the time, but to also relax after a fulfilling dinner. It was my lovely girlfriend, me, and my chihuahua named Apple. While I was minding my business, I heard some commotion downstairs. It seemed to be my parents' room door. It had somehow opened. See, this was concerning as they were out and about. They had not been home because we didn't hear the keys my parents had to access the apartment. My girlfriend looks at me concerned and suddenly there's a knock on the outside of my door. This had my heartbeat raised quite a bit. Apple was now growling slightly. I cautiously open my door as it creaks open. I see the dark bathroom across from me with the door partially open. In that moment of intense silence, I heard something in the darkness say, Durian. I freaked out and slammed the door as fast as I could and threw open my Bible. I read a few lines of prayer out loud, and just as I was about to say amen, I heard loud, heavy footsteps walking down my stairs. It was slow and walking away, whatever it was. So I gathered my courage and opened the door once more. But this time, I made my way to the top of the last step and stared down into a dark staircase. There were no loud footsteps anymore, just abyssal silence. That's when Apple began growling and barking at the dark. Knowing that wasn't a good sign, I did my best to stand my ground, when all of a sudden... When I tell you my legs locked, my whole body got paralyzed, I felt like a fainting goat. But once I fell, it was gonna be over for me. But I collected myself and ran back to the room and slammed it shut. That night, I was very much sleepless with that thing right outside. One question I have in the back of my mind from time to time was, why me? And will it come back? I guess I'll never truly get an answer to that one. But one thing for sure, that voice was unholy. <laughs> If you have made it to the end of the video, comment down below your favorite story or what gave you chills. Please give this video a like, subscribe, and feel free to clip your favorite moments to share with friends. It will truly help. I love you all, and until next time, farewell poets.